Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. So that being said guys, uh, I want to remind you once again why I'm, while I'm shuffling the cards that this is just a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, um, I will try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a, a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, as the Christmas is approaching, uh, there is a Christmas deal that is going on, on the website that is regarding to the 20 minutes and the 30 minutes live service and basically saves you some money for them. So their prices are kind of abated. So uh, we are going to the tarot card spread first and for what it seems this is going to be a, a very good week for you Pisces despite that we do have the Tree of Swords here into the predicament section. But uh, <clears throat> Generally this week it is where you are to feel quite emotionally fulfilled either from your relationship or either from your career that is displayed here with the Ten of Cups which is the, um, the satisfaction of that you are finding yourself in a place where you can finally name yourself happy of how the things are unfolding one way or another. The Ten of Cups is this uh, emotional overflow which ones, uh, even though the situation is not ideal, one realizes that it could have been much worse than it is right now and therefore one is uh, prone to really see how blessed one is. Now on, the, on the, a little bit more negative side, the Ten of Cups kind of expresses that our human nature that uh, no matter how much we do have, at a certain point it doesn't, it is not enough anymore. And with that specific sense, the Ten of Cups card may uh, manifest itself as we realizing what exactly we are missing here and thus making the necessary steps in order to acquire it which are going to be quite easy steps it is just you know the the perception of what we miss could be something that eluded us until this very moment and as soon as we realize what that is we are to find it very patrolling however the ten of cups <clears throat> it asks you to do um, a, one thing really throughout the week and that is to kind of recognize how blessed you are because we are not talking here about monetary success we are not talking about uh, this um, exhilarating love that you can experience in between two people with the butterflies in the stomach and with the swiping of your feet off the ground when you see each other this is something completely different what we do have here is the mature love the appreciation that one have for another the uh, foundation of trust that you may have among each other as well if we're talking about relationship it is about realizing that you can count on this person either your boyfriend or a girlfriend or a friend of yours as well co-workers and etc etc to your grave because it is basically they are a, a very faithful companion and they are with you uh, ready to go through fire now the Hierophant here as the core of the situation explains what, uh, why the Ten of Cups is appearing, why that emotional satisfaction of how the things are is to take place and the Hierophant in, in this case points the resignation to the, uh, to the situation again realizing that it could have been much worse but for some um, reason the fate twisted the, the the strings twisted the circumstances in a such way that you are ending with the upper hand one way or another. Also the Hierophant here could regard to some meaningful conversations that you recently had and these conversations were something meant um, for you so you can realize you know how uh, how good you are or on on what kind of a good place you're finding yourself. You know, I talked with my, with my mom recently and she 
told me about a neighbor of hers that does not use heating through winter because she, you know, don't have the money to do it. And uh, this made my mom to realize, you know, how blessed she is having, you know, uh, these necessities one need in order to feel themselves human. And, uh, you know, we can only see worse into other situation and through those eyes by seeing that it could have been much worse than it is right now, it is how we are to find ourselves very comfortable into the place where we are at this very moment or where you are at Pisces at this very moment. Um, <clears throat> And I'm saying that, and I'm not saying that this is going to be a, a week of complete emotional happiness because we do have the Tree of Swords into a predicament part of the reading. And uh, Tree of Swords here, it speaks exactly about that realization that things could have been much worse. And uh, basically one needs to be grateful for what one's have. So what we do have here for your week, Pisces, is enjoying, indulging yourself and uh, valuing whatever you do have into your possession. Of course, not everybody is going to feel, you know, uh, emotionally fulfilled to a huge extent. But the very least here... Throughout this week, you are to kind of like face a painful truth much more easily because you are to realize that you do have other things to hang on to, you know, other things to look forward to as well. And you are to convince yourself either that, that this, even though a painful truth, it was better to know it than not, to know, than, than not knowing it, you know, and living in, in deception. For example, the Tree of Swords... <clears throat> regards to as well being cornered it's kind of like uh, having to experience a mental cruelty just to give you an example of that is let's say a friend of yours really insult you in a very cruel way and humiliate you in front of others and doing so they only prove that they are not worthy to call themselves a friend of yours and even though you may find yourself misfortunate in that specific situation uh, at least you are to find yourself as well relieved that you don't have to deal with this cruel person any longer so basically these cards here again are showing Pisces that you are to resolve a lot of issues and uh, at your behalf through the happy circumstances that are happening, through the natural circumstances that are happening, although those circumstances may not be the ideal circumstances that you have thought about, but should you have an open mind to see how blessed you are in reality, you are to find that you are quite of a happy person. Also, looking at these cards, just these three cards, there will be not a single problem that you will not be ready to face. Because uh, in reality, or when you kind of like uh, realize how blessed you are, you are to see that you have nothing to lose out there. And that's why most likely you are to throw yourself with quite the enthusiasm and vigor to resolve your current issues either into your career or either into your relationship. Basically, you are to realize that things cannot go any wrong than, than they are right now. And even as they are right now, this, is, this ain't the end of the world. You know, I mean, you have so much more opportunities out there. Um, <clears throat> diving into the meaning here that a person always wants more and strives for more, no matter how much one want and one have. Therefore, you are to be open for expansion as well. And the last card that we do have, this is the Nine of Cups, which is the guidance for you that you should kind of adopt throughout the week. So the guidance here is, is that you need to indulge with whatever makes you happy and you should completely deny enterprises and uh, activities which are making you feel despondent. For example, if... Um, a friend of yours approach you asking you to go on a cinema on a specific movie and you highly dislike that genre uh, ge that genre uh, then you should not go at all just so you make just so to please them, you know, I mean, you have to basically say no, I, I just don't like it. Why don't we instead do something else that we both are going to like? Uh, very important as well with the Nine of Cups is to recognize when you can lose something that have been achieved because achieving a specific um, task 
or completing a specific task is just halfway through the achievement, sustaining it is the other half of being successful. Therefore, the Nine of Cups told, um, guides you here or asks you to think about what could really can go wrong or what kind of a happiness that you recently achieved at your behalf could kind of like deteriorate or can't be jeopardized with a further actions from you or from those which are around you and as soon as you define that you definitely will find as well a way how to stabilize that uh, enterprise to become something of a, a long term like a long term relationship like a long term job as well or like a long term friendship and etc etc it is basically a, a week for you Pisces where you are to realize that even though misfortunate things are happening all, all around us you still can find a, a pleasant uh, environment for yourself and an environment that you are going to feel unaffected by the problems <clears throat> or by the, the, the repercussions of the of the problems and yet being capable to uh, resolve them with a, a slow approach. So that being said this was your uh, weekly tarot reading and now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for a uh, event that uh, is likely to happen for you and you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So the first card that we do have this is the uh, ring which stands for commitment, it stands for unity. Here I, a business partnership, marriage, engagement, it could be as well friendship. The second one this is the bear. The bear stands for resources, the bear stands for a, a head strong, the bear stands for power and authority as well. And the last one this is the uh, the house the house stands for personal estate it stands for home it stands for personal environment as well comfort zone and family so what we do have here is a, a commitment or a partnership based on a, a big amount of resources and trust which is to establish your estate which is to establish a, a big comfort zone on your behalf so I could lean here into the hierophant that this is going to be a very meaningful conversations that you had either led, led recently or you are to lead into the next couple of days as this week starts and through these conversations you are to make a, a very lucrative or a, a very stable partnership with someone it could be as well you know a, a relationship intimate one for that matter which is relying on trust above everything else and mutual support rather than this um, unstable feeling of love so that being said guys this was your uh, weekly tarot and lenormand reading for november 19th to november 25th 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a general reading for pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore i did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please Please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and don't forget about the Christmas deals that regards to the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading. That being said, Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!